You turkeys ready to go get your little brother? Yeah. In a nutshell, not last night, but the night before that, at 2 a.m., Deshana went to the hospital, uh, you know, to make a baby come out. And she went with her friend, um, who's my friend's wife, my friend who recently moved here, and it looks like he's gonna stay, but that's a whole other video. Um, <clears throat> but they, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm putting a whole bunch of details aside about 2 a.m. pedal boat trips to go get the, our neighbor and stuff and whatever. Um, but they went with our neighbor who has a fast boat, and they left at about 2 a.m. And, uh, you know, there was some level of distress. Um, and of course, I don't know how much distress is within uh, normal parameters or how much is bad or what. So they left and I knew I wasn't going to get word for a while. So I was just here stewing in my own anxiety for hours. Oh, is that the boat? All right, I'll tell you more about this later. You know what, I'll just sum it up by saying Deshane has this heart rate monitor and I was playing with it and my heart rate while I was stewing and waiting was 60 beats per minute, which is pretty high for me. And then after I finally got news that the baby was out and Deshane is fine and everything is totally okay, my heart rate was 36 beats per minute. So 60 down to 36 just by removing anxiety. That was the wrong boat. Uh, we're waiting for our neighbor who agreed to be, you know, emergency hospital transportation, which is why it was okay for me to pedal boat over to his house at 2 a.m. and be like, hey, wake up, wake up! Um, and he's, he's taking us there now. Now, we could have gone to see the baby yesterday, uh, but we decided to just wait until we could actually get them and come back, because it's, it's kind of a long trip. Not the super longest trip, but now we can actually go get them and, and bring them home. Now we're just twiddling our thumbs, waiting for the ride. I'm not twiddling my thumbs. What are you doing? Sitting. Oh. Holding my bag. Okay, we're not twiddling our thumbs. We're sitting here holding our bags. I'm going to twiddle my thumbs as soon as I put the camera down. We don't have any insurance. And that's a, you know, it's a mathematical choice I've made. And philosophical choice, whatever. Basically, my theory on insurance is that uh, as long as you're using it the average amount or less, it's, uh, you come out ahead if you just save money yourself. But that also requires you to have the diligence to save the money yourself. Uh, the only time I would get insurance for myself is like super disastrous insurance, like something that's gonna cost like $200,000 or whatever. So we're gonna find out how much it costs to have a baby in Panama. I also wanna mention, Deshana, squirted that baby out with no assistance, like no drugs or anything. I, I'm super proud of her. That, that, was, that was awesome. Okay, there's our ride coming. 45 minutes late. It's funny that I still think he might be early. All right, little dude, here we come. All right, let's go, turkeys. Hey, Bells, you coming? All right, let's watch out. Well, this has got to be the place, right? Look, it's us. All right, let's get in here. Kids have to wait over there, apparently. This lady looks a lot smaller than last time I saw her. So kids can't come in, so they're staying over there. And there's a little dude, I want to go touch him. But I don't want to take my eyes off the kids. We'll be out of here any second now. How you doing? 
Cool. Nice kid. And we went to many windows and got lots of papers and garbage. It kind of sickens me doing paperwork for a human, but whatever. And it cost sixty-six dollars and eighty-eight. No, and eighty cents. Yeah. Check out that cute little nugget. Hey, nerd. This is one of the big uh, landmarks around here. The big steel ship. Who knows how long that's been there. Anyway, here's your carriage, young sir. How's the big steel ship a landmark? Is that what the question is? Um, a landmark is just something people can recognize easily. And there are not a lot of enormous steel ships shipwrecked on the shore, slowly rusting away. At least not around here. I don't know. Some places there might be. My daughter asks, why is there so much garbage washed up here? And the answer is, because people don't care. So we'll keep working on making people care. Sound good? <laughs> Look at that little kid. Boy, good job. All right, I'm going to go get crap and let's get, let's get out of here. All right, turkeys are safe. I have a list of crap to get before we go. Before someone asks, was that $66.80? Yes. $66.80. $65 for the delivery, and I guess for an overnight room and like a bunch of meals and stuff. And then $1.80 for some, I don't know, pain drugs or whatever. Some some kind of drugs. Yeah. $66.80. They use US dollars here. So it's in US dollars. We left just in time. There's a wall of rain following us. I don't think it's going to move as fast as we will though, so we should be home before we get hit by that mess over there. Oh, uh, there's a good little man. Nice, sweet. Let me get out. Hey, it's home. Look, I'm grabbing your finger. That little dude is cheap, 65 bucks. That was a bargain, eh? It's a good deal. Made it home! Yeah, look at that little dude. <laughs> looks like, it looks like he's looking at you on <laughs> camera or something. <laughs> He's moving his pupil eyes. I hope he's grabbing my Be gentle oh. with him. I hope he's grabbing my eyes. My fingers too. You gotta be careful. He's opening his mouth. He might try to eat your fingers. <laughs> Man, that little dude just crapped everywhere. Luckily, I'm exempt from that one. Because <laughs> I'm carrying stuff back from the boat. <laughs> Alright, I better just upload this. My mom's going to have a stroke if she doesn't see this baby soon.